Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric and in today's video we are going to discuss how can you take out a data from lake house and put it on your local system. The local system on which you can put is the system on which your on-premise gateway is running because we are able to connect to a system where the on-premise gateway is running. So the write back from the lake house or even from the warehouse later on we'll try to experiment will happen on the local system. So what I've done is I have installed a on-premise gateway and it is up and running right now so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump onto the microsoft fabric and there i'll try to move one file from microsoft fabric lake house to my local system so let me jump onto the power bi and for that today we are going to use the url app.powerbi.com and from here we will go to one of our workspace and from that workspace we will take out a file and a table from the lake house and put it into a local folder and learn how can we move the data from fabric to a local system. Let me go ahead and do this. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to my workspace and in my workspace, I'll go here to GA01 fabric. And in GA01 fabric, I'm going to start a new pipeline. Now, why am I using pipeline? Because pipeline has an option for folder. And very recently, the on-premise data has been support in pipeline. So why I can bring on-premise data to the lake house or warehouse using data pipelines, I can also put it back. So let's learn that. So I'm going to click on the new in my workspace and go to more option and here I'll start one data pipeline under data factory. Let, let me give it as a name load to local one it's creating the pipeline and i'm going to add a copy activity using copy assistant so let me click on data copy assistant in the middle of my window and here i need to choose a source so what is my source my source is a lake house so i'm going to use current workspace lake house lake 02 and from there i clicked on the file and it is loading the files so let me take one of the file this is salesonline.csv it's detecting its format the format has been detected and it has correctly taken all the parameters. It's a comma separated file delimiter slash r slash n and it is showing me the correct data. Also, it has used first row as header, which is also correct. Now, let me take the next step. Next step, it is asking for a destination and for destination, I will take folder. If it is not visible, you can click on view more and this is the UI which has changed very recently. So in case you are not pretty familiar, this is the UI which has been changed and made more intuitive very recently. So click on the folder and now give a path. Now this path is something which I've also used in the past and because of that, it is detecting my on way connection and I'm continuing with that. If it doesn't detect, then you can go ahead and look for your way connection details. So you can say create new connection and there you can give the data gateway and your Windows authentication. When you give the windows authentication, make sure you give your machine name slash or domain name slash username and the password. Let me try to use the existing one and let me press next. Once I press next, it will take a little bit of time and try to connect back with my system. It has connected. Now remember, I'm given a folder path, but it is going to take the original path which I've used in the connection. And because of that, you will see it has not detected the same root folder which I wanted. So I'm going to go back to the path and choose the right folder. I have reached to the right path. Let me press on OK. It's asking for a file name. So let me give a file name copied from lakefile.csv. Let me press next. I'm leaving rest of the things default because I want to export it into the delimited format, but I do have other options also. Next, I'm not going to run it because I would also like to copy one table. So I'll uncheck this option, start transfer immediately, uncheck that and I'll press on OK. One copy activity has been added. Let me also add one more copy activity. Again, I'll go to the activities, copy data, use copy assistant. Again, from the lake 02, this time I would like to take a table. So let me take sales online table. Let it preview that. Preview is ready. Let me press next. Destination, again folder, same path, next. Same exercise I have to do. I have to again search my folder. I got the right folder. Let me press OK. Let me give a file name here and the file name would be copy from lake table to local file dot CSV. Press next. I want to copy it as comma delimited file. So but we have other options. If you want to copy the data in those options, let me press next and let me uncheck this and press OK. Now I have two copy activities. I can make them SQL or I can allow them to run in parallel. So let me run this so i will go to run i will use validate and i'll use run option it is asking to save the current pipeline yes i want to save it save and run once i'm running it should show me two activities 
So as you can see, it is showing both activities queued here. One activity is in progress, another one is queued. One activity is successful, another one is queued. The second activity is also in progress now. Both the activities are successful. Let's go to my folder and see whether we got the files or not. As you can see here, the top two files are the files which I wanted to copy from there, copied from lake file, copied from lake table to file. These are the two files I'm able to copy from there. And as you can also see, they got copied pretty quickly. Now, there are other options also. It is not that I have to use pipelines also. Like in case you are using the One Lake Explorer, you will always be able to see your file in the One Lake Explorer. You can open and check those files also. In the past, I have explained you that how can you install One Lake Explorer and can update those files and what happens when you update, how the records get updated and all those things we have discussed in the past. So that is another method. And this is one more method. And specifically, it should be used when you wanted to have some kind of a data dump and you don't want to install the one lake explorer or you want have to have some kind of a query running and restricting the data and wanted to get that data shipped to your local system same way you can also try another option by you know sending this data back to other databases also those options are also available because of the reason the pipelines the destination can be many unlike data flow gen 2 where we have limited destination data pipelines provide you a lot of destinations so why don't you go ahead and try different destinations and see what data you are able to move out quickly from Microsoft Fabric to the outside where you have the permission. Hope you like this video. Do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.